so what's so it's so intimate tonight. It's just us. I love this shit. Oh, uh, fucking Morgan done walked away, this motherfucker. But he asked how I met my wife. We're Mexican, so it was a family reunion. <laughs> kind of just go down the line, and I landed on her. So we've been together, you know. <laughs> but uh, with Morgan talking about what is it, those apps and shit that he's using? It reminds me of y'all remember Bad TV back in the day? Yeah. You remember Lowered Expectations? <laughs> This shit reminds me of lowered expectations and shit. It's like my name is Morgan. I'm looking for a woman. I like some comedy. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't even here to talk about this shit. Anyways, <clears throat> y'all don't know this about me, but I'm actually a part of the trans community. I transitioned from a little boy to a man. And so now, you know, I'm this sexy motherfucker you see. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. <laughs> so when I was a little kid, man, uh, I was a little half gay. You know, I wasn't full gay, but I was half gay. So I was raised by a single mother. And when you're raised by a single mother with no male figure, you tend to pick up a lot of female tendencies. So I used to walk around with a switch you know, <laughs> I used to sit down when I pee, which I still do. <laughs> but we always watch whatever my mom watched, so it was always soap operas or novelas in Spanish. <clears throat> so around 11, my mom started realizing that I was a little gay, and she got scared. So she was like, I gotta get him around men. So she signed me up for youth football. We had never, I had never seen any sport whatsoever because my mom wasn't into that shit. But she signed me up for youth football. And like y'all know, you know, I was poor. So we didn't have no athletic clothes. So we went to the Salvation Army to get me some clothes. And I ain't even bullshitting. The only thing we could find was a hot pink tank top and some lime green swimming trunks <laughs> and some flip flops. <laughs> So my first day of showing up to youth football practice, I walk up with my switch, and I was like, I'm here to play with some balls. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, all of them looked at me like, oh shit, we got our first queer boy. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of cool, man. Like, you know, like I said, I didn't know nothing about football. I didn't know what the fuck it was. So they started putting us through some drills. First thing they had us do was test our 40. How fast can you run the 40? Of course, you know, like I said, I ran a little feminine. <laughs> so when they put me down, they had me run, and I was kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> and so they were like, no, 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 foot, don't do that shit, son, don't do that shit. They were like, have you ever seen anybody run fast? And the only person I ever seen run fast was my mom, whenever she had to go take a piss. But the way my mom would run, they didn't like that either. So they set me up again. They were like, I want you to run as fast as you can, son. So the minute they blew the whistle, I put my legs together, put my hand up, and I was like, I got to go pee. I got to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, God damn it. Quit doing that shit, son. <laughs> this is all true. I ain't making this shit up either. <laughs> So anyways, they're over here thinking they got a little gay boy, whatever. But um, they put me on the tackling drill. When they put me on the tackling drill, they were like, just run as fast as you can and knock the shit out of this dummy. I did that, boy, that was it. They were like, this gay boy can play. So they put me as a middle linebacker and I started playing football. Anyways, I played all the way through high school. I was actually pretty good. I had a division one scholarship, but I actually dropped out of high school because I got my girl pregnant <laughs> and came up all that shit because I didn't know what the fuck a scholarship was. <laughs> so anyways, a few years later, I got to play football. I had a homeboy here in Lubbock that was playing semi-pro. And so he told me about it. And uh, I got to play from 21 to 28. But it was way different, man, way different from playing high school to playing with grown-ass men. So, one of the funniest stories from that 
is actually the reason why I retired at 28. So I had played and I did all right. But that last season, we were playing in Midland against their football team. And I was playing against this big motherfucker that was like six foot seven, 280 pounds, offensive tackle. I'm a linebacker, so they like get around this motherfucker and sack the quarterback. And so I don't know if you know what a stunt is, but a stunt is where you pretend you're gonna go one way, twist around and try to go the other way, you know? So in my mind, I was like, when the quarterback says, huh, I'm gonna fucking do this and go around. I wasn't fast enough, man. So true story, he said, huh, I skipped in, I turn around, this motherfucker throws me five fucking yards, like just launches me. So I try to get up because you're always told to get up. I get back up, this motherfucker throws me another five fucking yards. So then I'm like, all right, I need to get up. He comes and he just throws his whole body on me. So he's laying on me, basically fucking me from the back. I feel his breath on my neck and shit. And he's like, stay down, bitch. And I'm just like, okay, daddy. <laughs> and it was crazy because I started like imagining our life together and shit. I was like, am I going to be a good wife for this dude? You know? <laughs> but anyways, they blew the whistle. And this dude, big motherfucker, literally grabs me by my shoulder pads, stands me up on my feet, smacks me on the ass. And he's like, good job, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. I immediately retired. I appreciate y'all thinking. <laughs> <laughs>